everyone. Brazilians often say they live in a continent rather than a country. It's an excusable exaggeration. The landmass is bigger than the United States if you exclude Alaska. One of the world's most captivating places, Brazil is a country of powdery white sand beaches, wood and rainforests, and wild rhythm-filled metropolises. Travel to Brazil and you will find jungles, forests, beaches, mountains, rivers, and two of the world's largest and busiest cities, Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. Visit Brazil to discover some of the world's most scenic landscapes. Wildlife lovers can explore the wetlands and the rainforests, while city lovers can wander the streets of Rio. Along with beautiful beaches, one of the world's best soccer teams and the world's most famous carnival, Brazil is a truly melting pot, perfect for every kind of traveler. The minute you land, you will be taken away by the country of color and life, one of old and new history, and you will never want to leave. Number 13. Belo Horizonte The capital of the state of Minas Gerais gave the preeminent Brazilian architect Oscar Neymar his first commission. And today, these early Neymar buildings draw tourists and fans of modernist architecture to the city. His first major work, which immediately set him apart from conventional architects, was the parabolic curved Sao Francisco de Assis Church, beside a lake in Pambulha neighborhood. On the hillside above it, and connected by gardens designed by landscape architect Roberto Bull Marx, is Neymar's early casino building, now an art museum. Overlooking the large Praca da Liberdade, in the city center is a science apartment building, Edificio Neymar. Number 12. Art Museums of Sao Paulo Sao Paulo holds some of the best collections of fine art in Latin America, and the buildings in which they are housed are architectural landmarks as well. The Museo de Arte MASP displays the continent's most comprehensive collection of Western art. There are 73 bronze sculptures. From its beginning, the museum has concentrated on works of mid to late 20th century artists and the building design by architect Lina Bobadi is a modernist landmark. Oscar Neymar designed the Pavilhao da Binal de Astres in Ibirapuera Park. More than 8,000 works of art, one of Latin America's largest collection of 20th century, Western artists include Picasso, Tagel, Kandinsky, Miro, and Modigliani, along with major Brazilian painters. Number 11. Pernambuco Beaches The crystal waters, tall palm trees, and broad stretches of silver sand are only a few of the reasons why Porto de Galinhas is frequently cited as Brazil's best beach. For a country with more than 7,000 kilometers of Atlantic coast, much of it is sandy beaches. That's saying a lot. The town stretching along the beach is laid back, colorful, and just a wide blend of old fashioned beach town. Its hotels and resorts lie close to the land instead of soaring in high rise blocks. Jangadas Picturesque sailboats will take you out to wave top pools where brilliant tropical fish swim around your feet in angle deep water. You can also take a boat to a lagoon where tiny seahorses swim and you can scuba dive to explore impressive coral reefs or shipwrecks. Kayak in the lagoons and estuary or buy a fanciful kite from a beach kiosk to fly in the steady breeze. Number 10. Auro Preto The wealth of Brazil's state of Minas Gerais in its glory days of colonial period is easy to imagine from the interiors of the churches in its old capital, Auro Preto. Entire walls are washed in gold that flowed along with diamonds from the mines surrounding the city in the 17th and 18th centuries. Cascading down the sides of a steep valley and surrounded by mountains, Auro Preto 
is a jewel of colonial town, but its steep narrow streets and mountain settings, however, captivating for tourists today, didn't meet the needs of a growing provincial capital. The entire town is so rich in colonial architecture that Auro Preto has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 9. Salvador's Pelourin Hall The sedate Alta of Brazil's former colonial capital has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its exceptional collection of 17th and 18th century colonial buildings, the finest such ensemble in South America. Called the Pelourin Hall, this old quarter is where you'll find Salvador's most beautiful churches and monasteries. Built at a time when Brazil was the source of Portugal's riches and the plentiful gold was lavished on colonists' religious buildings. The finest and most opulent of the city's churches is Sao Francisco, built in the early 1700s and filled with intricate carvings covered in gold. In the choir and cloister, you can see excellent examples of Portuguese tile panels. Number 8. Brasilia's Modernist Architecture Brazil's new city of Brasilia was carved out of the wilderness and completed in less than three years to replace Rio de Janeiro as the country's capital in 1960. It remains today as one of the world's few cities that represent a completed plan and a single architectural concept. Without the normal mix of residential and business districts, the entire governmental section is composed of major architectural highlights, which are the city's main tourist attractions. Some of the most striking are around Praca dos Transpaderos, the Presidential Palace, Supreme Court, and the two sharply contrasting Congress buildings, plus the historical museums of Brasilia and the Panteo da Liberdade, designed by Oscar Neymar. Number 7. Amazon Rainforest About 20 kilometers southeast of Manaus, the dark Rio Negro waters meet the light muddy water of the Rio Salimos, flowing side by side for about 6 kilometers before mixing as the Amazon. Boat trips from Manaus take you to this point, called Encontro das Agos, meeting of the waters. Other boat trips take you into the heart of the rainforest and the network of rivers channels and lakes formed by the three rivers. In the Rio Negro, the Anvil Hanas Islands from an archipelago with lakes, streams, and flooded forests that offer a full cross-section of the Amazonian ecosystem. You can see monkeys, sloths, paras, tokens, caimans, turtles, and other wildlife on a boat trip here. Number 6. Ipanema Beyond the beaches of Copacabana, the glorious white sands merged into the just as famous beaches of Ipanema. Further along, beyond the Jardim de Ala Canal, are the beaches of Leblon. With more locals and fewer tourists, these beaches are fairy for families. The waves at Ipanema and Leblon can be very strong and unpredictable. If so, is what you're looking for. Head to the stretch between Copacabana and Ipanema where the surfers hang out. Number 5. Carnaval Rio de Janeiro Few show matches, Rio's pre-London carnival, extravaganza for color, sound, action and exuberance. Make no mistake, this is not just another rowdy street party, but a carefully staged showpiece. For spectators, can watch the parades of competing samba dancers from a purpose-built stadium designed by none other than Brazil's best-known architect, Oscar Neymar. Called the Samba Drama, this long series of grandstand boxes provides ringside seats to a 700-meter parade road where dancers and musicians from the competing samba schools strut their stuff in dazzling explosion of brilliant costumes. You will also find carnivals in Salvador, Bahia, Recife, and other Brazilian cities. 
Number 4. Copacabana Rio de Janeiro Downtown Rio's most fashionable and famous section follows Avenida Nossa Senhora de Copacabana and is bordered all along one side by 4 kilometers of wide and breaking stuff. The beach is separated from the buildings and traffic by a broad promenade paved in black and white mosaic in an undulating pattern reminiscent of streets in Lisbon, Portugal. The beach isn't just for show. It's also a popular playground filled with sun worshippers, swimmers and kids building sand castles whenever the weather is fine. One of these, the famous Copacabana Palace, is protected as a national monument. Inside its lobby, you can easily imagine seeing the royalty and film idols who have stayed here. Number 3. Iguacu Forts at the point where Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina meet, the Guaco River drops spectacularly in a semicircle of 247 waterfalls that thunder down into the gorge below. Just above the falls, the river is constricted to one fourth of its usual width, making the force of the water even stronger. Some of the falls are more than 100 meters high and they cover such a broad area that you will never see all of them at once and a tower give you different perspectives and one bridge reaches all the way to one of the largest known as the Garganda do Diablo The falls are protected by the UNESCO acclaimed Iguacu National Park where subtropical rainforests are the home to more than 1000 species of birds and mammals including deer, otters, ocelots and capybaras Number 2. Sugarloaf, Rio de Janeiro The easily recognized emblem of Rio de Janeiro, the rounded rock peak of Sugarloaf, juts out of a tree-covered promontory rising 394 meters above the beaches and city. Its summit is one of the first places to visit for tourists. For views of Rio and the harbor, and for the thrilling of riding suspended in a cable car between Sugarloaf and the Morro da Oca, a lower peak from which a second cableway connects to the city. Rio's first settlement began below these peaks, and you can tour one of the three early forts there. Number 1. Cristo Redentor and Cocovado. With arms outstretched 28 meters as if to encompass all of humanity. The colossal Art Deco Statue of Christ, called Cristo Redentor, gazes out over the Rio de Janeiro and the bay from the summit of Cocorado. The 709 meter height on which it stands is part of the Tijuca National Park. Completed in 1931, the 30 meter statue was the work of Polish French sculptor Paul Landowski and Brazilian engineer Peter da Silva Costa and is constructed of reinforced concrete and soapstone. The 8-meter base encloses a chapel that is popular for weddings. A midpoint stop on the railway leads to trail through the Tijuca National Park, a huge forest that protects springs, waterfalls, and a wide variety of tropical birds, butterflies, and plants. Several more viewpoints open out within the park. Brazil is full of wonders. Make sure to visit once in your lifetime to Brazil. Do comment your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new here.